Are you ready for another great grocery haul? Well, come on along with me and let me show you what I found for my family for groceries this week. So come on, let's get going. Hello, family and friends. I'm Susan, and welcome to my home. Let's go get groceries. I have got my menu planned up for the week. Look at those good meals. And I've got my food line sales paper going through it. The $1.29 a pound for peaches is not a bad deal. And they have a $5.49 for Angel Soft toilet paper going on, which is really good. The Swift Bacon Buy One Get One Free is actually not a bad deal. And they've got some good Buy One Get One Free deals this week. Look at that. Oh, that Texas Toast. Ugh. Texas Toast Pizzas. That's what you can make them with. The Cream Cheese, two for $3, is actually not a bad deal. And... The cheese, two for six, is not a bad deal. And of course, the blueberry muffins, two for five, always a great deal. Cantaloupe, two ninety nine, and blueberries, a pint, which is the decent size, for two for five. So let's go see what I can find at the grocery store. And here's the Texas toast, buy one, get one free, and Blueberries, two for five dollars, and they're the decent sized ones. And here are the cantaloupes, two ninety nine. Yep, yeah, nope, didn't look that great. And they did have some manager specials on, and ice cream, two ninety nine. And Turkey Hill, two for six dollars. And here is this week's grocery haul. I didn't get a ton, but I got some different stuff this time. So I'm going to go ahead and start over here at the left at Food Line. Yes, I found some. I've been looking for this for weeks, and I did find it at Food Line. These are the big ones. These are the ones I love to use, and they did have them. They were not cheap. They're about $4 a piece, but they make your food taste amazing. If you haven't ever used green chili enchilada sauce for a Mexican dish, you might ought to try it. They are awesome. Angel Soft, they had this on sale for $5 and something at Food Line. Went ahead and got a pack of that because we were down to the last little bit before the last pack because <laughs> I always keep one pack in, in reserve. So went ahead and got that. I got us some snackies. Uh, let's see, Oats and Honey, Sunbelt Bakery. That looked good. I love Oats and Honey, so we will see. I needed some Romano cheese to go in a recipe, and all they had was Parmesan and Romano, so I went ahead and got it. I figured it's kind of the same. It should do the trick, so I went ahead and got that also. They had their blueberries. These, I believe, were two for five dollars. Decent size. They're not the tiny ones, so they actually, to me, were worth it, and Danny would eat his weight in blueberries, so... <laughs> I went ahead and got him two packs so he can munch on them and have a good time with the blueberries. Cascade Platinum needed some more dishwasher pods for the dishwasher, so went ahead and got the Cascade Platinum, which happens to be my favorite. I've tried all the other brands. I've tried the, the liquids. I like the pod better. You just pop it in there and you're done, and I've never had a problem with it. So this gets my dishes really clean. Whenever I went in Food Line this morning, they did not have a ton of discounted meat. In fact, they had very little, which was very confusing to me because usually they have a ton on Friday mornings. They did have this. This is Country Style Ribs. It was, what is that, $13 and something? $15? What is that? $13 and three cent. Uh, and now it was discounted down to seven eighty two. And this is a huge pack. I mean, look at this. Definitely could make this for a family function in the crock pot. You know how I do that. Or I can divide this up and it can feed Danny and I for two meals. So that is not a bad deal for that much meat. They had a sale on their uh, bacon and I ordered it online and they substituted it for this one. It wasn't on sale. It is a thick cut, so I'll probably use it sometime. You know, you can freeze bacon whenever it's wrapped like this. You can put it in the freezer. Take it out, defrost it, and use it, and it doesn't lose any of its shape or density or anything of that nature. So this will stay in the freezer for a while, usually up to six months, I think is what they say. But this is definitely a good buy, one way or the other. That way I can at least put it in the freezer or go ahead and use it uh, for one of my recipes I'm making next week. 
I have a recipe that I'm going to be needing some sharp cheddar cheese for. Didn't have it on me. Didn't know if this is enough for the recipe, but I think it is. I went ahead and got this block of cheese. I'm going to have to um, grate it up to make something with it. I'll show you whenever I get it done because, yep, it was good whenever I tried it, and I'm going to make it myself and see how good it is. Shelf-stable milk. I am doing a recipe where I needed some shelf-stable milk. Went ahead and got a pack. It has six in it, and they're about a dollar a piece, I think, or less than a dollar a piece. But, you know, if you're going somewhere and you don't have a fridge, but you're going to need some milk to make something, great option. And went ahead and got this pack just for that reason. The mini muffins. Danny got his mini muffins for the week. Y'all know the blueberry. What he likes, two for five dollars, still on sale, still awesome price, still better than Walmart's price. So, yep, got those at Food Line also. Nors. Tomato. Um, is called for in one of the recipes I'm going to be making. So I went ahead and got that. So I'll have it on hand. This is the one flavor I don't have, believe it or not. I've got vegetable, chicken, and beef, but I didn't have the tomato. So I went ahead and got that. It'll be interesting to see how it tastes. The Velveeta Cheese Squeeze Packets. Got them at Food Line. You know, last week I went to Dollar Tree to see what I can find or see if I could find them. They only had the jalapeno. So I went ahead and got the original at food line wasn't much a dollar 25 or dollar pack basically so not too bad i need some yellow rice for a recipe i'm doing this week and they didn't have the virgo but they did have the mahatma so i went ahead and grabbed that up big box of funyuns because you know whenever we go to the camper dan likes to munch way too much but he does <laughs> so funyuns are a staple at the camper and at the house if he doesn't eat them all because I bring them back. Blue Ribbon still had the sale on ice cream. I decided not to get the one that I got last week. It was really good. Yeah, it was too good because I ate way too much of it. But this time I got the butter pecan, which is one of Danny's favorite flavors. It, I like it too. Don't, don't, let, don't make you think I don't like it. I do. But yeah, that one last week was so good. And the butter pecan is going to be good too. Got a big box of the different type of chips because I can't tell you how many times last week Danny said, we don't have any snacks. We don't have any snacks. Well, I didn't have any chips. That's what he was asking about. He had already went through all his fruit and he was looking for stuff. So I got him some. So we'll have some snacks for him to eat this week. Now the next little bit is what I got at Dollar Tree. I needed a little bitty thing of mayonnaise. You know, Miracle Whip is not my first choice, but whenever you're looking for a tiny bit, you know, I really wished I could have found the squeeze, the little squeezies like you get whenever you go to a restaurant. They don't have them anywhere, so I got this. This is the smallest one I could find at the Dollar Tree, so that would go good for a meal. You'll see it. It'll be coming up. And they also had these adorable picks. I mean, I'm thinking my florals on the front porch um, look like they're um, swag not swags but um, ferns they look like ferns but I put something that looks more um, fall in them so they can look good for fall each year and these are really right up my alley with the browns and the oranges that'll match the other picks I have that I put in them that way they'll look really good for fall Needed a little more dog food. This is not their favorite kind, but I went ahead and got them some at Walmart until I could get to PetSmart to get their favorite. Uh, but this is good. They'll eat it. They just don't like it as good because they're picky. You know how that is. I got some cream soda for a recipe. I tried to find canned cream soda. Couldn't find it. So I went ahead and got some bottled. I'm sure we will wind up drinking it some shape, form, or fashion other than the recipe, but went ahead and got that. Oh, and this is Walmart, too. Forgot to tell you that. I got two cover sticks. They didn't have the neutralizer in both, so I had to get an illuminator and a neutralizer, but this is my favorite cover stick. Even though they didn't have both, I went ahead and got the illuminator because I can always illuminate under my eyes. Definitely need it. <laughs> Black cherry. Guys, we went through one of these before half the week was up. Danny's drinking them now. I'm drinking them. Yeah, they're going fast. So I went ahead and got two. 
because you know he comes in and he's wanting a black cherry and all we've got is pink lemonade or tea which he doesn't like to drink so i got two boxes and i got some puck lights what i call puck lights to go in the camper underneath my countertop so i can film some recipes down there and not be too bad in the dark so I went ahead and got these i wasn't sure if they had any sticky stuff on the back to just stick them under the counter because i don't want to screw them in so i went ahead and got these stickies to go with it just in case so that is what i got this week for groceries not a lot but a good little bit and it definitely costed a good little bit um but stay tuned and you will see my menu plan for next week and I will be having a video going up next Thursday that will take into account some of the shelf stable items I've been getting lately. Yep, you'll have to watch it. And on this week's menu, we have Big Mac tacos, Pablo Loco chicken, spaghetti carbonara, and Greek chicken. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already subscribed, press that button down below and subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. And let our family be a part of your family.